Okay, so Demetrius, how do you, how you, how will you describe this camp? This camp, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, it's called Project Boo Boo, the no monkey business, act up, get smacked up. And so <laughs> that's what this camp's about. We see you at the snack. How was camp being here? And if so, why? Um, I've been working with Victor for many years now and I had a few camps here and one thing I know is like again there's no monkey business here there's no you know and on top of if there is monkey business you're going to be held accountable for it and you're going to get punished and treated in a way that you know you're supposed to no matter if you're a grown man or not you know it just is what it is we're here for business if you go to NBA or NFL you gotta have credentials and passes and all this other shit to get even through. So this is how we treating that. What in a specific, have you seen improvements? Just, you know, my, my improvements? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just um, just growing up, maturing, just knowing like, yo, it's time to, you know, to do what we need to do. But I always been like that in a sense anyway, but overall it's like, yo, we gotta, Everybody got to grow in that mentality of things for us to be successful, so. Have you heard about people saying David has been getting bad sparring for this fight? Say it one more time. Oh, yeah. If you hear about... Bad sparring? Yeah, he is sparring. You say it's really bad. I, I don't know. That's not my problem. I'm not worried about it, but I think David Benavides is a, a great fighter that whoever he spars, no matter what, we're going to get in the ring and tangle. That's all that matters. Why do you beat David? Again, I'm tall, I'm black, I'm handsome, I have nothing to lose, and I got all the skills and the ability to be anybody they put in front of me. So yeah, and I got the most high, so yeah. Okay. So David, <laughs> David feels like he will eventually stop you. What's he say? Humano y guapo. Humano y guapo, yeah. Uh, handsome, I Handsome, say. guapo. Guapo, okay, guapo. all right, we're good. good, okay, cool. Okay. So David feels touching on my kettle care, my people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bien, you know, your boy. <laughs> so you nice man. So David feels he will eventually stop you do the pre like if it pressure you. What's your response of that? This is boxing talk. So it is. Fuck you, fuck me. Fuck you, fuck me. Knock you out, you knock me out, knock you out. So that's all that is. What is your reaction about the uh Charlo and Jose Benavides uh, press conference. I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Charlo, I thought, looked... I thought it was funny. Yeah, uh, does it Charlo? Fuck you, fuck me, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so, does Charlo look good to you? I don't know, man. I don't know what you mean by that, bro. <laughs> you sound like so you talking about, man. Chill, my boy. <laughs> okay, so who wins that and why? Best of luck to both of them, man. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about, bro? 25th main event, the beach was AJ, David better be there. So I don't care. Said, don't fight for the year. No, don't nobody fight. I'm going, we're going to fight. He's not doing that here. We don't know what he's doing. He's trying to fight Charles and Terrence Crawford and then, what? Uh, Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't mad at him, but like, he had plenty of opportunity to fight my, me. And he had an opportunity to fight David already, so at the end of the day, I don't think he really wants that challenge. What are your thoughts on Benavidez promising that he will knock you out? I don't know. I don't. I didn't hear that. I don't really tune into all that. But you know, again, best of luck to him. <laughs> and also, it's boxing talk. Yeah, and, and going back to the Canelo statement. Um, I, I definitely think he's avoiding you, but Canelo says that he doesn't fight Mexican fighters, and now he's in talks with Jaime Munguia. Uh, what, is, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, we can go, you know what I'm saying, that Canelo guideline of him saying whatever, we can, you know, first I'm a horrible, and now I'm 50-50 against David. Now you're not fighting Mexican because David was the champion, and now he's not the champion anymore. Now you want it. So it's just like, yeah, bro. I mean, it speaks for itself. Put it in, it's in the, you know? Yeah, you see that Crawford Canelo can make a fight in the future? Fuck Canelo, bro. Fuck <laughs> Canelo. Like, that's it. Like, fuck Canelo. Thank you, man. Best of luck to Terrence Crawford if he does get it, but fuck Canelo. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Part of the Showtime history, of course, because they about to come to an end. 
But um, yeah, it's, it's all good. It's, it's my mock. It's time for it to happen and become that household name before, you know, I give it up, you know, at the end of the day. This time waits for no man and I can't fight forever. So the time is now. And like I said before, he has nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go and it only makes sense. And this is, like I said before, the Super Bowl of boxing right now. This is, this is it. It don't get no better than this. And like you can't put no other better matchup than the ones we have right here today. And I want to thank the Benavides family, of course, for accepting this, this the challenge, of course. And um, Jose, well, Tim Bradley commented about David's footwork. He said it wasn't very good on the thing. Jose Sr. today took offense to that. I saw that you rated his skill set on the PBC thing with numbers. Could you kind of maybe give a little bit of an answer up? more so than you did in that about Dave Benavidez's footwork because this has been a point of contention of people looking at this fight about his footwork. Listen, at the end of the day, come November 25th, we're going to fight. I'm going to put my skills and abilities against his and that's all that matters. You know, when I did the Showtime thing, that's just my opinion how, yeah, feet work, that's cool. You know, he's not the best athletic fighter out there and that's just what it is. And I'm not the only one that can that's will say that. So, are you the most underrated fighter of your era? To the mainstream, to the mainstream, I I believe so because you know just my journey, you know the obstacles I have to deal with. But at the end of the day, I I kept coming on top, doing what I had to do, no harm no foul. And today is the day that we're going to have um, a chance to give everybody um, what they've been missing out on. How physically big are you heading into this fight? Are you a natural super middleweight in your opinion right now? I mean, 23 inch legs right now, I'm doing all right. <laughs> I mean, listen, you know, we, um, we, we, we're building our body to, you know, do what we need to, need to do. Uh, speed, endurance, and, you know, just um, mental and physical and spiritual realm is, is, is high. So we're coming in this fight with <laughs> with everything like yeah, we have the most high on our side so there's nothing to be worried about are you as tall as him nah he's probably like an inch or two taller but, I mean you're in the same ballpark I think that most people assume a guy moving up in weight or has gone two weight classes there'd be a dramatic size difference you look fairly similar at the face off yeah I mean if you do the mathematics if you yeah. say oh I'm six feet and then the person goes I'm six one and somebody that's five nine be like oh that's big <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, he's only an inch or two tall of me. It doesn't, it's not that big of a difference, you know? People just, I don't know, have this perception of him being this big guy. I'm also a big guy. Yeah, he's a, he puts on a lot of weight, it seems like, but at the end of the day, that's, that could be in my favor. What would beating David Benavidez mean to you? I mean... I'm not, I'm not too sure actually at this point what it would mean to me in a sense, but it would just mean to the people, right? How the people will look at it like no, no, nobody over here is running away from this challenge. I've been trying to challenge the top fighters for a very long time. I went to people's press conferences. I got kicked out, I got kicked out, and I got kicked out and nothing prevailed from it. No, no follow-up storylines from the reporters. It, it just like did its thing and it, it died down. Because yeah, they're shutting the shit down. You can't even mention my name to some of these fighters because at the end of the day, reporters will get shut down and they can't do their reporting. And I understand it's a business for reporters too. They got YouTube channels, they wanna get paid, they got ads. I understand how it works. But we also gotta be starting to like understand like, yo, we gotta also support fighting. To be fair, I did get it jumping at that Charlo press conference. I was the one that asked about you that got that going. No, I'm not saying. Well, no, no, you know, I'm just it messing takes, with you. It takes, I know, I know you are, but it takes more than just. You know what I'm saying? One it takes thing. the whole, the whole, the whole movement. If you guys want to see a fight, you've been largely avoided. I mean, that's the story of your career. You, for at least five years, nobody wanted to fight you, and that happened. And now this is your moment. It feels like it's definitely a good moment to like give myself and boxing what they've been missing out some skillful slickness and you know just um you know the guy to do it and has the style to do it is me and so i have to be the one to step up to the plate and make it happen any inspiration from the new england patriots or marvin hagler 
that Pacific Northeast. The Patriots definitely need to be watching this fight for inspiration because they've been looking like shit. Um, <laughs> Marvelous is the man, of course. Of course, we're always going to look up to him and God rest his soul. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the inspirational part is, honestly, is just being able to get this camp together, um, get the people together, um, uh, Uncle Andre, um, Mike Veloz, Victor Conte, Remy, um, you know, Casey, the whole snack team, like, that is really the thing. You know, my dad, Paul Andre, um, just, like, everybody just finally, like, you know, get coming together for the right purposes and also giving, up, giving me their greatness because... This is bigger than me. Everybody's gonna get their greatness after this. We'll come out with the win with uh, Devin Haney and uh, Rich Pooler. Um, uh, I mean, Devin has all the skills and ability to, to me that he can be anybody. Progress is, you know, a good South Pole fighter, but more the more skillful fighter I think is Devin. Besides what you have. Uh, what about the uh, Tyson Fury fight? Uh, were you surprised by the knockout or knockdown? I'm sorry. Um. I didn't watch the fight, but I seen like the little clip. Right then, there's a strong black African man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Two hundred thirty-four pounds. You know what I'm saying? Six something two. You know what I mean? Like, and he's coming up. Whatever. He got pop, man. Like, he's the one of the hottest hitting person in the world. So you were saying, Ganu probably has a good boxing future. I'm not saying that, but of course, he, you know, I'm not, you know, I mean, it's different styles, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he's a, he's a big man that can absorb punches and he can definitely give out punches. So, I mean, there's a lot of guys he can beat and there's probably guys he can't beat. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And lastly, what do you feel about the fight? How do you think you're going to come out with the win? How I'm going to come out with the win? It's still, in new, in new, in new, it's still. But, like, <laughs> at the end of the day, when I get in there and dance, is pretty much, you know, it's a, it's going to be shown on the, the night of the fight. You know, like, I'm not one that's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to show it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't predict, but I predict the win. That's what I do predict, the W. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's all I got, brother. Yeah. Thank you, son. Thank you. For Thank sure. you. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Tune in. Get... Your snack shit is easy access for you. Ain't got to worry about too much shipping. Get some shit, some GMA, man, so you wake up feeling strong and healthy, <laughs> baby. You feel me? <laughs>